download Vinyl Master, head to www.uscutter.com backslash download. The site will ask you for your PSN, also known as your personal serial number. You will find your PSN on the back of the Vinyl Master product card that was shipped with your cutter. Enter the PSN into the field on the website and select Submit. A link will appear below the field. Select the link and download the software. Once the software is downloaded, run the executable to initiate the installation process. The installation process will ask for the PSN, the same number you had entered on the website. It will also ask you for your model of cutter. Make your selection accordingly. The driver for your cutter is automatically installed through the software. Once the installation is finished, launch Vinyl Master. A window will appear with a button that says Activate. Select that button and select Activate once more on the window following. The software will then ask you for your email address and then it will ask you for you to enter it a second time for verification. Select Activate one last time. Once the software is activated, select New Document in the Introduction window. Simply place anything you like in the workspace, such as text or a shape, and then select the Cut icon, which is represented by a blade holder. The Cut menu will open, and a window will appear asking if you would like to install your cutter. Select Yes, and then select US Cutter in the Maker drop-down menu, and your model of cutter under Select Cutter followed with Selecting Install. The Connection tab will open listing your model of cutter, connection type, and setting. For the MH and Titan series, select Direct USB for your connection type. For the SC and Laser Point 2, select Direct Com. Under the Settings option, select the connection. If your cutter is plugged in and powered on, you should see your cutter's connection. For the MH and Titan series, it will be an alphanumeric line. For SC, Laser, and the Laser Point 2, it will be listed as a COM followed by a number. After setting up your connection, select Done, and then select the Cut icon again. In the Cut menu, press Area Test. The Area Test will move the carriage and feed rollers without cutting any material. If the cutter moves, you will know your cutter is communicating with the software.